What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the My Team Career Mode, episode number four, this time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Here is where things stand. We have a broken engine. We have a broken car after the reliability failure at my home Grand Prix. We were set for points, and yet we came away with nothing. Gearbox was the order of business. It wasn't a full-on failure. It was enough to sideline the car for the rest of the Grand Prix. Um, I've, I've never seen an 80% failure before, but here we are. I might even try and run it again in practice uh, since it's already worn. What's the point? So, um, yeah, driver standings. Max Verstappen leads from Charles Leclerc. Uh, our two points in Jetta means we're in P14 in the driver standings. Our recently fired driver, Teo Porcher, not in the championship anymore. However, we did pick up Liam Lawson. He was uh, okay in Australia, but uh, it was his first race in the sport. Let's head to this next one. Please leave a like and subscribe and we will get stuck in to some of the upgrades. 2.3, 9 million dollars to spend and 1.3k worth of resource points. Some upgrades on the way. Drag reduction. Could do front down force. That would go on in time for this race. But we are at department capacity. That is a problem. So we'll have to wait for some stuff to come in and then we can pile on more upgrades. But for the time being, we're kind of limited on what we can do because everything... Apart from aerodynamics, let's go to the facilities, is spec zero. So we can only do one upgrade at a time. Aero, we can do two upgrades at a time. Yeah, we need money to upgrade the facilities, to pile in the upgrades quicker and more efficiently. So that's the current problem we face at this stage. We can afford a fabrication upgrade on the chassis side. That's actually quite good. Now, I mean, all of these are very important for different reasons. But what would you guys in chat say is the most important? I'm taking on feedback. I think I think we do fabrication. We're going to do fabrication because we're going to soon unlock tire wear. Yeah, we need spec one to do tire wear. So we're going to have that come in. That upgrade is going to get unlocked by spec one as well. Then we can do quite a few on the chassis side. Huge. And we have got a bit. We got a sorry from the research and development department. Okay, fast forward time. Get some upgrades in, and we're away and flying. Cool. Cool. Okay, spec one on chassis. Oh, it's unavailable. Oh, come on. Give me tire wear. Give me tire wear. We have tire wear. Crucially, major weight reduction will be big for us. I think we push for the major weight reduction. That'll make more of a difference. Weekly resources coming in. Only 150. We need to up the uh, resource board generation. That's costing us week on week right now. 2.7 mil to upgrade that. They've definitely done some balancing. They've made the uh, the OP upgrades in the facilities, like resource point generation, a lot more expensive. It might be twice as expensive as what it used to be. And this is for spec one. Imagine how expensive it's going to be on spec two and spec three, especially. Anyway, uh, we're sixth best car. Alpine has overtaken us, but we might overtake them when we pile on our upgrades. Department event, team acclaim, or second driver acclaim. Team acclaim, please. Well, well. Thank you. Very nice. Action training. Some of the activities coming in. Here's potentially a big day coming up on the 17th. Aero department event. Oh no. A recent systems crash led to us losing sim data uh, about the car's drag performance. We can either get Lawson to do some runs in the simulator or get the aero department to run some tests. Oh, Lawson, is he going to get points anyway? Probably not. Let's make Lawson take the hit. Thanks. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. That could be the difference between an upgrade failing or not. All right, next day. This is a big day. We've got wheel rim covers and the floor stiffening stays. So that's weight redistribution and weight reduction, I think. No, it can't be. Let's find out. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Two aero components going on. I was wrong. I thought it was chassis. And now we're up there with Aston Martin. That is why we don't mess with the morale. They've both gone on. Absolutely massive. Anyway, chassis department focus. Oh. Oh my word. That's gone on too. Oh my word. Department morale is low, actually. And it still went on. Okay, we've unlocked a few more upgrades. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. Very good. I can afford that though! ERS! Oh my god, we've got the best engine! 
and it's about to get better. 40% fairly chance. Why not? Things seem to be going on right now. Let's keep it up. Fast forward a few more days. Another event. Uh, we've been running through Lawson sim date and they appear to be cutting it fine when it comes to the fuel load. Man, what is going on with Lawson and his sim date to this, this week? Uh, we don't want this to occur in an actual race. How should we approach this? Take the hit to racecraft. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping us. Lawson in the muds. <laughs> it's going to be so slow this round. All right, let's go to the weekend and see what the update is. Have we moved forward or backwards? Surely we've moved forward with the amount of upgrades we've brought. Oh my word, Alpine's gone backwards. They've gone absolutely backwards. McLaren have shot up massively. So has Haas. We've made big strides towards the top four teams already, which is quite nuts. Aston Martin with a minor upgrade. Mercedes with a big boy upgrade. They could be second best car. And then Red Bull still pretty clear, it seems. Interesting. It's not going to matter, though, if we can't finish races. All right. Here we go, lads. Qualifying the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Welcome to qualifying the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We were very quick in practice. A lot quicker than our teammate who was a little bit mudded. Let's see what we can pull out here. Let's go. Actually stable for a change. The rear wing stuck open. We need you to pit so we can try to repair it. Pit in for repairs and be careful. That could be a good problem. That could be a good problem. Let's make the most of it. Uh -huh. Maybe it's not a good problem. Oh, it would have been so easy to over rotate into the wall there. So I tried to put as little steering as I could into that. Big gain down the straight, but we've lost so much in the corners. 44-0 will last. Eight tenths slower than Sargent. Liam's nine, eight tenths quicker than me, sector one. And a good chunk quicker sector two. He's done his lap. It goes P8. All right, no pressure. We are last right now. One shot qualifying to get us out of Q1. Easy game. That's better. Okay, there's two minutes left in oh, this session. Oh. We're in the drop zone. We need a quick lap or that's qualifying over for us. That's the time we need. Cheeky bit of slipstream there. Run up to the line. Two second improvement. I think we're P10. I think we're in the top 10. P9. I'm shocked. I I'm genuinely shocked. Let's go. We've made it. Eight tenths shy of Carlos Sainz, Verstappen and Red Bull. Not really showing their hand yet. Where's my teammate? Five tenths off. Kiwis can't drive. Very good. Very happy. We've got a bit of a situation at the moment. Seems like something's off with the fuel oh, injection like system. Going. We're looking into it, but we're going to be out of action for a few minutes. Clowns. Let's go for Q2. That's how I uh, do a three-point turn in the McLaren. Two minutes to get a lap in. 1.1 second gain on those new tires. Lovely stuff. At least now I've got some confidence. So I, I might lower the off throttle dip down a few clicks. I'll go somewhere in between. We had three minutes to get out there. How long does it take to do an outlap? Very happy. We are out of qualifying with a 1 minute 54. Very representative lap time, that one. The team did the clowning in session one. We did the clowning in session two. As always, I think we'll be quicker in the race. We got a good car. We got a quick car. We were top 10 in Q1, so I'd imagine we can move forward in the race. All right, upgrade-wise, DRS would make us quicker in quality. I mean, I want some downforce. How many? We got one front, one rear. That's cheaper. Yeah, get it in there. 
Oh my word. Do I was gonna ask, do we risk running a gearbox at 80 odd percent? It's 85%! Do we run an 85% gearbox in a Grand Prix? Everyone's saying no. Everyone's saying we should change it. Looks like we are taking a penalty. Taking a new engine. We're already starting at the back. Everything else can stay the same. Let's send it, guys. I'm not gonna change my approach. We could get we could maybe pick up eighth in the sprint. And then in the race, it's game on. 110 AI, sim damage, Baku. What's the worst that could happen? Welcome to the grid of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Verstappen is in second place. Still P16 though, the penalty applies tomorrow. Fuel though, uh, we're gonna leave the 10 laps in and we'll just, I guess we'll gauge the, the wear from there. What tires is everyone else starting on? That is the question. Mediums all round. Medium is a good shout because I feel like I feel like we've got good pace and I will make a flurry of overtakes at the start, but then I, I might need good pace at the end. So mediums kind of makes sense. So I'll try and give it my best shot. I'm going to save the softs for the Grand Prix. Here we go then. The formation lap is underway ahead of today's sprint. You're getting into racing. Do you have any gloves you recommend? I use the Sparco Hyper Grips. They're pretty good. I like them, but mine are five, six years old now. So they've fallen a, fallen a bit. So I need some new ones. Actually, I need recommendations from you guys on what sim racing gloves you use. All right, guys, let's get into the sprint. Hopefully no mud is awaiting us. No, Liam! Hopeless, absolutely hopeless. I did tell him, I did teach him how to start, so really it's my fault. P15 note. That's a big send from me, that's a big send. F122, they would have turned in on me there. We are still alive. I think we're quick. I think we're quick, I, I can't be certain though. Holy send! I just got rear-ended. Stroll is out. And I think this Alpha has damage. I was trying to back off to give the Alpha space. The Stroll had other ideas. Surprise there's no safety car. Funny Joe Pitts. Because there's a bit of debris and someone retired. Alright, now we got a tough job. Now we got a tough job of making up three seconds. Three seconds on our own. Don't worry about the damage. I've got some new strategy options if you go and check your MFT. Over rotation into the castle section. When, see like when the when the back end kicks out like this, and we're this close to the corner, of course that's gonna happen. That was not meant to happen. Does it matter? Not really. Oh man, absolutely savage. Do we retire? In we go. The sprint race never happens. Well, that lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. With the sprint wrapped up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Liam's move forwards. Ah, <laughs> oh, not good. That's dropped us down a place as well. We'll go to the Grand Prix. And pray that doesn't happen again. Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. Just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Ocon, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Albon, Perez, Bottas. Oh, Perez! 13th! Sergeant, Gasly, Joe, Stroll, Liam Lawson, Stroll. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Back row of the grid. Anthony Davidson joins me once again. Back row of the grid. And, it's and the commentator called me Stroll. Curious, as a man with experience out on the track. <laughs> 
how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's Let's have another shot of me in last place, please. ...and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Welcome to the Grand Prix. It is last. Population us here in Baku. Hard to soft is the uh, strategy of choice, at least early on. Uh, soft meat. Good variation in strategy today, it must be said. Very good variation. Liam is going for mediums. Quite a few going for soft. I like it. Um, if we do go for this strat, we're going to be slow as hell. Early doors. 46-12 versus 46-13. It's not much in it, to be fair. We'll be able to finish strong. Uh, but we give the undercut to everyone, and undercut is very powerful. Undercut is worth a lot. I'm going to revert the strategy. We're going to start mediums. I want to pop my nose ahead of other people. Early doors. And if there's a safety car early on, we jump onto the hards. Easy. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in. This is episode four, yeah. Making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. Only two people on hards. Ocon and Piastri. I like to watch... Let's keep an eye on them. Let's put a... Let's place a marker on them. Uh, for strategy's sake and see where they end up. They are... If I had to predict, I reckon they're going to go backwards because they're going to get undercut by so many people. Cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out. Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one. It will go down as a memorable Grand Prix. All right, here we go. The Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Please leave a like if you're enjoying this series. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We are getting ready. It is a last of first challenge for not only myself, but my teammate as well. What can Marduk Motorsport do from the very back? of the grids. Run away. Liam gets a good start this time. They squeeze me, bro. I'm your teammate, but I'm your boss too. Woo! So much wheel spin they used. Why do we we have used mediums on right now? Why what happened to the brand the other new set we have? This weekend is such a Clown show. You get two sets of mediums for the race. We used one in the sprint, but then we have another one. And new tyres are worth so much time as well. That has absolutely messed us up. Very good. We'll let him go. We'll give at least one of us a chance. No traction. Woo! Virtual safety car deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual safety car is deployed. Caution, the virtual safety Stroll hit the wall. I wonder if we... I feel like I gave him enough space. But he's hit the wall regardless. We could make this work for us. We're going to go hard. I reckon we go hard to the end of the race. See if we can make this work for us. VSC, please stay out. Okay, we can take you this lap. Of course, he is boxing as well. Oh my words. Oh my words. <laughs> Did I need to do that? No, not really. Right, let's go. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, BSC ending. We're nice green. and slow. Positive delta until the green flags. My word, I really did go slow there. Away we go. This could be 
an absolutely goated strategy. We are, though, going to have no pace at the end. That's if we get to the end. We don't know what this engine's going to do. Ahead. Okay. Who? Stroll's catching us big time. Stroll is catching. Yeah, Stroll's catching. It's going to be a tough race. Maybe the difficulty's too high. Maybe we didn't factor in for the AI getting quicker in the race. Um, Guan Yu Zhou is losing a lot of time. Is he alright? Whoa, okay. Alright. Thank you, game. I need to check if uh, we've got that new set of mediums in our tire bank. We do not. Why don't we have our new set of mediums? I actually need to uh, change my pedal calibration because I'm putting down a lot more throttle than what I think I am. I think I'm putting down like 70% throttle, but it's more like 90, nearly 100. Stroll is in DRS. It's not a bad thing. Perez in the pit lane from 19th on the grid. I think Stroll is quicker. If we let him drag us along, that'll be only a good thing. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, my word. Grip. All right, right. Race is about to get very exciting. People are going to start making pit stops, and we're going to have some track position. All right, let's let him go. I feel like I've got to short shift to look after them. We're getting too much wheel spin. People are in the lane now. I don't want to overtake you, but I've got no choice. Super cautious. I'm worried about the AI taking up all the space on exit. Who's got DRS? I think he does. I'm burning battery. Oh, he's so slow. Uh, Lawson's gone to softs. Why has he gone to softs? Uh... He's just in the way. Perfectly in the way. Even Liam is caught up to us. That's how bad we're going. Race leaders are in the pit lane. This is mud wrestling. This is not Formula One. Broken DRS to Magnuson. Okay, be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip anytime now. Oh, man, we still got, we're not even halfway through the Grand Prix and we're already suffering with tire wear. Not good. Job done on Stroll. Can we dig ourselves out of trouble? Albon next, but he's on much fresher tyres. No, we can't defend this. We can't defend this. We can't... Whoa, we nearly lost it! <laughs> That's close. That is super close. These tyres are so delicate. We got the RS somehow. Tyres aren't good, guys. We can't push on them. Our teammates through. This is so treacherous. F123 in the braking. It's a nightmare. Uh, we've lost an absolute shed load of time to Albon as well. It is done. I am not okay. I am not okay. I think we're going to crash if we stay out on these tyres. My teammate's P11. It could be on for a points finish. There might be one more hard runner who needs to stop. I think it's Ocon. Here's some information on Hulkenberg. They're retiring from the race. Safety car, safety car. But hey, Lawson's in the points right now. Lawson is in the points. What if I do something very noble? What if I stay out? Park the bus. It could be P10 at the end of the day. That would require me actually staying in this position. Which I'm not sure I'm capable of doing. Oh, these tyres are done. Yes, what is this? Locking up on the way in. 
Locking the rears on the way out. Okay, the pit window's open, so let's box this lap. Box this lap. Damn, I really, I thought Hards could do the whole Grand Prix. That's why we boxed under VSC. It's absolutely ruined our race. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Wow. This probably would have been okay. Most other circuits on the calendar. But because it's Baku and the tire wear is so heavily biased towards the rear tires, that when you get on in the stints, it just makes it undrivable. I got 20% more wear on my rear tires. If a safety car comes out, we're back in the money. Wow, we've still got so long in this race. Tires aren't going to make it. We are going to have the box. I'm just waiting because it... It could be a safety car at any moment. That would really help us. If we pit too early and then a safety car comes out, our race is guaranteed over. So I want to deploy my new softs as late as I can get away with. Not much I could have done there. I feel like I did pretty well to avoid a crash. Is it time to box? Is it time to box? I'm boxing. Oh, my words. That was close. In we go. In we go. We are last. There seems to be a problem attaching the left rear wheel. We need to try and put that behind us, though, and let's finish this race strong. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Standard stuff at Marduk Motorsport. I'll save battery, see if we can do a faster slap. Tell you what though, these new tyres feel incredible. I can actually go straight instead of sideways. We are actually racing people. Alonso apparently is stopping again. So hopefully we haven't been sold a dummy there. By the way, my teammate, 12 seconds up the road. He only had like a few seconds worth of undercut, but he's gained a crap ton of time. All right, let's go. Can we do anything about Piastri? Can we keep Alonso behind? Aston Martin are having a stinker. Hopefully we're catching Piastri. Whoa, fastest lap of the Grand Prix on 110 difficulty. In this piece of crap. I should have boxed for soft slaps ago. He's at the wall. This is a stupid move. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I thought he was going to hit the wall. I really did. Come on, Piastri, mate. Get on with it. We've got more cars to catch after this. I smell a double overtake. we got the slipstream. Yeah, let's go that way. Lock off Piastri. Piastri's back in the lane. Damage at the castle. 10 seconds to Lawson now. This is the last lap for a safety car. We're catching him very quickly. We could be on them by the end of the race. They caught by four seconds this lap. Wow. This has been like another three, maybe four seconds lost again by Magnussen. He might be going through the same thing we had on the hards. Again, over rotation on the brakes has given us forward, uh, wing damage. The underbody's taken a little damage. Just watch out for it. Things that just don't happen on F122. In general, I I feel like I've been quite uh, conservative with my overtakes, with uh, attacking braking zones. And that moment right there, we just thought, screw it, we'll go for it. And. What do you know? That's what happens. I was still pulling away, though, with a broken wing. So, in the end, I think it was probably worth it. The amount of time we would have lost waiting behind him probably would have cost us more. Would be... Would have been tough to get Lawson anyway. 
I think I think in hindsight we probably box. Okay, mate. Final lap. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home. We probably box like two laps earlier, at least one lap earlier than what we did, and we'd probably be up there with Lawson and Stroll. Leclerc wins, and here he is. Charles Leclerc wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Ferrari gets something right. Okay, we think the underbodies incurred some slight damage, but nothing too serious at the moment. Just be careful. Just get me out of the way, it's fine. Very good. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. We still get P17. Well then, not the day we wanted. Tire wear today has been absolutely savage. Shouldn't have boxed under the VSC. We didn't get the time back. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. P17, that's what we deserve to be honest. The pace was better than that, but yeah. We, we, we the whole team made too many mistakes this weekend. Myself included. I feel like the AI level was right. Uh, 110 was, was fine. Like we were quick on new tires, but what you can't really balance for is what the tires do when they go off. When the tires went off, the car became undrivable. And that is something that needs to be addressed by driving style or setup. It's hard to tell right now if it's a me thing or if it's like something that's too extreme. Either way, it's an issue nonetheless that we've realized and uh, we need to work on it. I mean, we didn't do ourselves any favors by stopping like lap one or two for hards and trying to do the whole race on a set of hards on, on a different track, on a different game. That'd be perfectly reasonable strategy and we'd come home for probably P10 in that race. We were ahead of Gasly when we came out on the hards, but it is what it is. We didn't have a safety car to save us. And that's the result at the end of the day. In the standings, we are still P14. Charles Leclerc closes up on Max Verstappen. Lovely stuff. And Constructors. Ferrari had a good day. They're closing on Red Bull, I'd say. Mercedes, P3. Us, we're in P9. Alpha Tauri on one point behind us. Alpine and McLaren, though. Stretching away. Reorder merch. Yes. Give me a thousand team acclaim. Thanks for handling that. Thank you very Oh! We're acclaim level five. We are acclaim level five. You know what that means? Do you know what this means? Secondary sponsor, yo! Who do we sign? Score one Constructors Championship point during the race weekend. Echo. Because that could mean it's either me or Lawson. Let's add them. Huge. And to round out the video, we'll chuck it on the car. All right, car is a little bit more populated. Lovely stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies about the episode. It was kind of mudded all race weekend uh, from Team Blunders. Uh, mechanical faults, minor ones, and then into the race where uh, we just couldn't live with the car as the tires got older. So a lot of things to live and learn from, and I'm sure we'll bounce back bigger and better in the next Grand Prix. Grand, Grand Prix. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for more Mighty and Career Modes.